time for another uplifting video. So as everyone knows, prison is not a place you want to be. Not just because you lose your freedom, but because there's a very real chance that you'll become a human pincushion. But despite the obvious risks of violence and surprise butt sex, some prisons stand out above the rest because of the horrendous conditions within them. So today, I gathered the absolute worst and most dangerous prisons in the world that would make even Chuck Norris drop a deuce. So without further ado, here they are, the 10 most brutal prisons on earth. Number one is Rikers Island Prison. Located in New York, New York, Rikers Island is one of the world's largest correctional facilities and is ranked one of the worst prisons in America. Housing 14,000 inmates daily with a maximum lockdown of 15,000, this notorious prison has been the subject of numerous incidents of neglect and abuse towards prisoners. Assaults, rapes, and murders by prison guards as well as by other inmates are all commonplace here. One notable event included a set of guards starting an inmate fight club which pitted prisoner versus prisoner for the guards entertainment which although officially shut down is rumored to still happen to this day. Gang activity runs rampant throughout each cell block leaving new prisoners no choice but to pick a side upon entering and hope for the best. And this is especially important if you don't have strength or size. In that case your best bet is to become Big Bubba's prison wife in exchange for protection. You look mighty cute. Big Bubba's gonna take care of you real good, baby. Number two is La Santé Prison. Found in Paris, La Santé is one of the most infamous prisons in France. It has a total capacity of 2,000 prisoners and a long history of abuse, with conditions so deplorable that inmates are regularly forced to deal with overcrowded concrete cells with rats and lice. Violence here is so pervasive that inmates are only allowed out of their cells for four hours a day. Weaker inmates are routinely enslaved by stronger ones with rapes being a daily event. Surprisingly, or maybe not so, the largest cause of death at La Santé is clinical depression. Several hundred prisoners have chosen to commit suicide over the years by swallowing rat poison or cleaning products out of desperation to escape the deplorable conditions here. The most ironic thing is that La Santé prison literally translates to prison of good health, which could not be farther from the truth. If I may throw my hat into the ring here, I would like to suggest maybe a rebranding for a name more representative, such as you know, horrific black prison of death or something like that. I feel like that would be a nice juxtaposition for the city of love. Number three is Pitek Island Prison. Located on Pitek Island in Russia, this maximum security prison is home to the country's worst criminals. The prison is small, housing only about 170 men, but the real defining feature is the isolation of its inmates. Each prisoner is kept in a small two-man cell for 22 and a half hours a day every day, only getting to stand for an hour and a half like animals in a small cage outside. Compounding this isolation is the location of the institution, which is found in White lake in northwest Russia, one of the 10 largest lakes in Europe. In addition, prisoners are only allowed two visitors a year. Because of their near complete isolation, lack of basic facilities, and bitter cold, most residents will go insane well before their sentence is complete. Isolation and freezing cold temperatures. Sounds like the life of a Canadian YouTuber. And you all wonder why I'm so weird. Number four is Bang Quang Prison. Situated in close proximity to Bangkok and Thailand, the Bang Quang Maximum Security Prison is the most violent in the country, housing about 43 death row inmates and foreign prisoners. The Thai culture doesn't believe in coddling prisoners, so physical abuse is the norm here. For the first three months of their sentence, inmates are forced to wear shackles. Food is nothing more than a bowl of rice with vegetables served once a day, causing terrible malnutrition. Disease is a big problem as the facility has no running water and a barely functioning sewer system and is severely overcrowded and understaffed. Those who do become sick are shackled to their beds as they wait for medicine that they will likely never get. Those on death row have their leg irons permanently welded on until their execution for which they are only given two hours notice before dying by lethal injection. Yeah, okay, note to self, don't break the law in Thailand and uh, pick up eggs and milk. Number five is La Sabaneta Prison. Located in Venezuela, this prison was once described by the late President Hugo Chavez as the gateway to the fifth circle of hell. 3,700 inmates are housed in this facility, which is designed for no more than 700, so to say that it's overcrowded would be an understatement. Underfunded and understaffed, gangs run the prison while violence, murder, and rape are all part of the culture of fear amongst the inmates. Every year, hundreds of prisoners are killed while contraband such as guns, ammo, 
marijuana and cocaine are discovered here. Prisoners here deal with insufficient food and health care, little to no medical services, and the occasional massacre of their fellow inmates. Interestingly, Venezuelans incarcerated here have a greater chance of dying than they do on the streets of Caracas, which has the highest per capita murder rate in the world. So yeah, you know, just a little something you might want to consider before booking that next getaway with the fam to Venezuela. Don't go. Number six is Diyarbakir Prison. Found in Turkey, this prison has a capacity of 744 and has a reputation for being the most sadistic and hostile penal institution in the world. This prison gained notoriety for having the greatest number of human rights violations per prisoner with instances of physical and mental torture occurring here. It gained media attention for its unbelievable conditions and sexual abuse of inmates. But what really makes this place horrible is its practice of incarcerating children some for life. Over the years, several inmates have attempted to rebel against the inhumane conditions here, including suicide, setting themselves on fire, and hunger strikes, none of which have worked. That is really disturbing. Turkey. Delicious name. Scary prisons. Number seven is Kotsunu Civil Prison. Located in the small West African country of Benin, this prison is just as bad as the previous mentioned, except this one holds 2,400 men, children, and women in an institution only built to hold 400. Disturbingly, a whopping 90% of inmates here are awaiting trial for their crimes due to a backlog in the country's judicial system and a lack of funds from the Republic. It can take several years just to be seen by a jury if they even survive that long, causing cells to be so overcrowded that prisoners have to sleep in shifts. Interestingly, most deaths here don't occur from violence, but from preventable diseases due to the substandard health conditions. Okay, honestly, the lack of sleep part would be enough for me to keep my nose clean in West Africa. Yeah, 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 substandard health conditions and whatnot, but lack of sleep? Don't take my sleep away, man. Number eight is Tadmor Prison. The Tadmor Prison in Syria is described as the kingdom of death and madness because of the gruesome and utterly merciless violence that occurs there. Every single aspect of it was designed to dehumanize its inhabitants, making it one of the most oppressive prisons in the world. The guards routinely butcher inmates and political prisoners with axes and starve the ones that they don't kill. In one incident, in 1980, over 500 prisoners were slaughtered in their cells like animals. When the guards aren't busy tying up prisoners and dragging them to death, they can be found chopping up body parts in one of the prison's many courtyards. Okay, this prison is quite literally run like a butcher shop. I suddenly have an urge to go vegan. Hey. Number 9 is the Jitarama Central Prison. The name Rwanda conjures up dreadful images for most people, and the Jitarama Prison is no exception. Described by many as hell on earth, prisoners here are forced to eat, sleep, live, and die squeezed together in this roofless brick box of a prison. Designed to only house about 500 people, the population of this prison skyrocketed to around 7,000 in the mid-1990s and continues to hold an average of about 2,500 people at any given time. Time. There are no cells and many are forced to sleep in open corridors, under beds, and on open floors. Prisoners stand crammed together under all types of weather as well as choke on the smoke of cooking fires and suffer together from all types of diseases. And the most shocking thing is that out of desperation to survive, many inmates have been known to kill and eat other inmates. It's like a cannibalistic human chicken coop. And number 10 is Camp 22. Possibly the most controversial and horrific institution in the world, Camp 22 is a concentration camp in North Korea. Gaining international attention in 2012 after its warden defected to China, it's an isolated prison for political prisoners. Able to hold up to 50,000 prisoners, it's a large compound that imprisons entire families and even future generations of offspring. Prisoners are subject to torture and even human experimentation where they become lab rats for biological weapons such as anthrax, bomb testing, and other brutalities. It's unclear whether the camp remains open or not today based on satellite imagery, but the legacy of this camp will remain one of the scariest of all time. See, this is normally where I would make a North Korea joke, but it's all been done, so. Starving people eating pigeons, Kim Jong-un has a little tiny penis, and the movie of the interview was awesome. Damn it! 
I guess it's unavoidable. Anyway, that's all for this time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if nothing else, I hope I gave you a reason to keep your nose clean. Don't be getting in trouble, baby. If you did enjoy this video, please share it on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to give that like button a click. And don't forget to add me to Twitter and Snapchat, because those are the social networks that I am most active on. My handle on both is Matthew Santoro, same as my channel name. Makes a lot of sense, right? And I will see you all back here this Tuesday with a brand new video. Peace. I'm a little too addicted to social media. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching my new video. If you enjoyed it and you'd like to see future videos from me, remember to click that big red subscribe button below. I upload a new video every Tuesday and Saturday for the month of January. And don't forget to add me to Twitter and the snap of the chaps because I'd be using Snapchat a little bit too much. But I need you to feed my addiction. <laughs> no, it's a lot of fun. I get to live chat with you guys and you know tweet you and blah blah blah. So add me to both. Username Matthew Santoro on Snapchat and Twitter. And that's it. Have a great weekend, and I will see you back here on Tuesday. Bye.